from CNET. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM on your iMac, which will definitely speed up your machine. It's really pretty simple, and we recommend upgrading your RAM yourself because you can save a good bit of money by not ordering extra RAM from Apple when you initially purchase your iMac. The first thing to do is figure out just what iMac you have and check on Apple's website to figure out which model you have and what kind of RAM it takes and how much memory you can put into your machine. The last couple of years, the base configuration of the iMac has come with four gigabytes of RAM in two two gigabyte memory modules, which takes up two of the four memory slots in the iMac. To get to the memory compartment, you lay your iMac on a soft surface with the screen facing down. Then all you have to do is take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the three screws for the plate that covers the compartment on the bottom of the iMac, and you'll be able to find where your memory is hiding. As you can see here, we have two slots open for additional memory. This iMac, which is a 2011 model, accepts up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, adds to the 2010 models. What a lot of people do is keep the existing two gigabyte modules in place, then add an additional two four gigabyte models, bringing the total to 12 gigabytes. Alas, the modules only go up to 4 gigabytes, so if you want to get to the full 16 gigabytes, you have to replace your current 2 gigabyte modules with 4 gigabyte modules. That's probably not worth it for a lot of people, but as we said, you do save a lot of money by installing it yourself. For instance, to add an additional 8 gigabytes of RAM, Apple would charge you 200 bucks, while two 4 gigabyte modules of this Kingston memory that Kingston provided for this demo will run you around $70. Ridiculously, Apple charges $600 for a full 16 gigabyte upgrade when you can do the same install yourself for less than a third of the cost. To get the modules installed, you just slide them into their respective compartments and wait until you feel a little click that tells you it's snapped in place. To get an existing module out, you gently pull up on the ribbon and slide the new module in. That's really all there is to it. Once you've got your memory installed, you can put the plate back on and you should be good to go with a machine that feels noticeably zippier. I'm David Carnoy, and thanks for watching the CNET How-To video.